Hello everybody and welcome back to the MLG Play 5000 series powered by games. So I kind of messed up there. Aix, he's not getting a headset, but somebody guessed Aix to uh, get the most kills in Search and Destroy, which huh? he did. So the winner of that is Isaac Maxfield. Congratulations, you win yourself a Turtle Beach Shadow Ear Force headset. We'll be getting in touch with you to send you that. But anyways, map three between Complexity and Curse Las Vegas is going to be Blitz on Freight. Let's jump right into the action. Unbelievable, Revan. That's I, all I, I got to say about that. I done goofed. You done goofed, son. But all right, here we go. So Freight, I mean, this is just, uh, you know, a typical three lane map in Call of Duty. One of the only ones here, but it is going to kick off really hot and heavy as uh, we're going to see a bunch of kills exchange all over the place. Nameless is going to be the player I'm taking a look at here, Revan. Curious to see if he's going to continue this, this, you know, slaying spree that he's been on. For, I would say every single game here he's he's been that top slayer here and he's getting behind them which I really like as well but complexity they're able to pick up a cycle of kills so it's all the parasite pushing out on the map and keep in mind there are a couple of dynamic map elements here on freight that are so important for your team to utilize and you know put to their best of their abilities so first off there's the underground door you could open up a secret entrance either you knife the gate or you open up the door inside the white warehouse that opens up a whole nother lane on the map and you always Ooh. gotta be rotating back to uh to shut off uh to just make sure it's clear and close the door also there are front doors to each blitz goal you want to keep those closed as well as the side doors so just limiting the routes that the opponent can take but Already, you see Complexity putting in two goals, but it's going to be Curse Las Vegas able to answer back. And you see Miracles, who's on your screen now, setting up for a relay cat. Yep, they're getting this one ready. They might be able to make it happen. They did manage to close their door, by the way. And Parasites being that player who's just navigating the mid, he's playing that midfield role nicely. And another thing that you got to point <laughs> out here, oh, Miracles was not able to get that cap. Parasite gets stopped over by the left lane as well. And Complexity knew exactly what kind of move Curse wanted to make. They were able to make that stop. But now here's the thing. With that door being closed, that means that Complexity, they have to fight their way out of the right building or right on their side, the uh, generator building, if you will. That's going to be rather difficult with Miracle sitting there. He is going to be anticipating that or they'll be moving middle. Either way, Miracles has eyes on it. And I, if you're looking at Complexity's side of the map, I feel like the, the side that they spawned on, a bit easier to defend your goal, the general setup you're going to see for the defenders of the team is there's going to be one person physically laying on the goal to prevent someone from sneaking around and sliding in and just getting a capture. And one player just roaming the top of the warehouse to just kind of protect the guy who's on the goal. So Blitz is a game type where you have to find that perfect balance of aggressive offensive play and passive de defensive play. And, uh, you know, towards the, towards the later stages of the game, you're going to see the winning team drop back, play three defense, one sneak around, and you're going to see one team just, you know, put it all in on the aggression to try to tie the game up. Yeah, yeah, and now with that score being 2-1 to one here, Complexity, they seem to have been that team that was playing super aggressive. That door is going to open right back up there, which is going to give Complexity that front door access. Nameless is going to get taken out. Aix is going to be the culprit of that one. Miracles needs to be there for the stop, as there will be pressure circling all around them. They are able to stop one, but not the other. Complexity is going to go up 3-1 to one in this Blitz Freight matchup. I mean, complexity, they are playing this one very nicely. Just a, a good mixture of, you know, just, just straight up aggression, but also knowing when to play back, when to play slow and defensively. And Blitz is a very tough game mode to play because uh, in a game type like, let's take capture a flag, for instance, if there's a player just waiting in a corner and somebody sneaks by them, they'll try to pick up the kill just to try to get the man advantage and try to pull the flag away. But in Blitz, People aren't going to take that risk. If there's somebody in the corner, somebody goes past them, they're going to let them run by. So you physically have to check each and every corner to get rid of those sneaky beavers that could potentially be around your base, which could tend to lead to a bit more slower gameplay. But I yeah. usually see kind of like the anchor players of Hardpoint. This is their new role is to protect their base, make sure nobody can sneak around, always keep tabs on who's alive, who's dead, and check those corners where somebody could potentially be in. 
Yeah, basically a defender role, you yeah. know what I mean? Or a goalie role, if you will. I mean, name it whatever you want, but that role is going to be so pivotal because, again, you need to be able to have eyes back there. And something that we saw, another another interesting dynamic that we saw was complexity pretty much just getting so aggressive and just getting in the back there of the cursed base, thus making them spawn in different locations, really catching them off guard and pincering curse in their base. And although curse was able to get in there and make a cap happen, they got stopped. They were only able to get one for their efforts, Revan, which means that going into the half, complexity, they are going to be sitting lovely with this lead. I wonder how they're going to react on the next side. And also something to keep in mind is with each cap comes a 10 second cooldown timer. So it seems could be uh, eliminated by the amount of time, but that's a huge cap from Curse Las Vegas going to the half, just bring it to a a two score lead, which is not all that much. I mean, just a, a good push by three guys getting a spawn trap going. Uh, you could easily tie that up. So Curse Las Vegas, yeah. they're, they're still in this one. And there's your scoreboard going into the half. Aches on top for his team, 14 and 10. And uh, Nameless, he's 9 and 9. So you were looking for him to bring up the slang. But it's actually Parasite doing most of the objective work here as he has all yeah, the captures nine. for his team. Yeah, and, uh, you know, something that I saw in the beginning of that first round there was, uh, you know, the, again, that intensity, that complexity brought to the table, cap capturing two within the first, I think it was like a minute and 30 seconds, really just spoke to how aggressive they're playing right now. And then another thing that I noticed is if you are constantly getting slay, like if you were just, if, if they cap one and then they, they, one player has a beneficial positioning the chances are they will be able to get another one. I mean, so you just have to play very slow. You have to be careful, right? You have to know how to counter that aggression here. Miracles is, uh, I actually just saw Miracles' perspective. He found three in his sights and he was not able to clean it up. That was the kind of play that Miracles needed to make there to be able to give them an opportunity to, you know, I, I would say tie this game up uh, or at least catch up just a little bit. Well, let's switch over to the complexity, guys. Yeah, of Right course. now, I'm watching Teep and it looks like he's taking a more slow mindset to this side you know they have a lead they just want to kind of feel it out before they decide to push out on the map he gets taken out all in his goal so that's going to force a rotation from his teammates they have to have to be aggressive to try to get a counter score or rotate back and now it's only a one score lead crimson on the aggression takes out parasite but he gets cleaned up almost immediately three down right now for curse las vegas this is exactly what complexity wanted and you see their first course of action was to open up all the doors. This is going to give them multiple options around the map. And there you see already capitalizing on it as they regain their two-score lead. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of different uh, elements in this in this particular map that I that I find, you know, unique with, uh, you know, the way that the goal is positioned, right? Because if, for example, in the building that Complexity is currently going to be defending, they have three different entrances that they have to defend. That's why, you know, shutting that door is very important. But then on the other side, right, they have, uh, you know, I think it was like one, one or two entranceways besides the top staircase. There's just, again, it's just one of those things with the way the maps are designed here. You have to have just be super attentive. You, you just cannot be complacent with looking in one direction. And uh, complexity right now, they are getting so aggressive here, able to make some moves. But that door <laughs> was closed and then opened right back up by Crim6. <laughs> it's like, you give me back the door. <laughs> I need another entrance inside of the base. But yeah, this has uh, been very interesting here to see how it's all played out as uh, complexity. They're continuing to play this one, a game of inches, if you will, and just, I guess, taking what they can little by little. And you saw the Sneaky Beaver play come into play right there as uh, yeah. TP was running up the middle alley. Stainville was actually laying down right next to him. Stainville Ooh. didn't shoot uh, until he was spotted by Teep, and uh, unfortunately, Stainville died. But just playing Sneaky for as long as possible, somebody runs by you. You don't really want to shoot them because that just uh, kind of gives up your position. And when you're trying to get a goal, you just want to kind of lure the other team out into the middle of the map, open up these, uh, kind of make a hole in the defensive line of the other team. And that's exactly what Steamboat was trying to do. But now Complexity, they're up by four. And you can see it that, uh, you know, they're feeling pretty comfortable right now. They're just like, all right, well, now we're up three. You know, it's still a decent lead. So let's just make sure that we have three guys physically around our goal at all times. And it's going to be yeah. Aches trying to get this sneaky cap for his team. Yeah, they, they've they been doing the sneaky cap thing quite a bit here. I mean, I saw Clacer actually do it a little while ago to give him that uh, eighth cap. I mean, the, the thing that I'm noticing with the way complexity plays is, you know, if they notice, like, we have absolutely no positioning in the mid, 
we have to play this one slow. They put a body right on top of the goal, which is so smart. Just put a body on top of the goal. Make sure no one is going to get that opportunity to go in there and cap it. You just got to, you know, play it intelligently. And that's exactly what Complexity does. That's what they're known to do. And now Complexity able to thwart this first attack. Unfortunately, the goal was made. And that's going to make it 9-6 to six here. Curse, they still have their work cut out for them as they're currently going to be down by three caps. And that's a huge score from Parasite as... as well, right before he scored that, three of his teammates got taken out. So being the last one alive, they knew kind of where he was and still being able to score it. It's not really going to mean much in the end as complexity. They're able to score one. That was Aix putting uh, the score on the board. So their lead goes back to four. Nice shot there as he takes out Parasite once again and make it a five-goal lead with a minute remaining. Once it gets Ooh. below 50 seconds, this one is over, Golden Boy. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's going to be very tough. You know, they... And there you can see right there, 50 seconds. I mean, at that point, it is literally impossible for them to come back because of that 10 second delay when you want to cap that uh, cap that portal. And wow, I mean, that that's it. You know, Cur Curse Las Vegas, they were just not able to make it happen. Complexity showing that, you know, Curse may have been looking pretty good in some other matches and scrims and stuff like that. But when it's go time, he's, it's still Cole's the way to go. Yeah, Complexity eliminating Curse Las Vegas in round one of the MLG Play 5K series presented by games, even though Curse Las Vegas, they might be able to get a, a couple caps here in the closing seconds. It doesn't matter. It is, they are eliminated by time. So there's a look at the final scoreboard. Lots of slaying being done by the complexity guys. 27 and 18 from Teefy, 22 and 19 from Aix, 21 and 16 from Crim6. But Aix and Crim, they combined for nine caps together. Uh, Clayster, he's got three caps as well. So a uh, complete team effort from the complexity guys as they were able to just take control of that entire map. And there you see, you hear the complexity guys in the lobby. They are excited. They're going to round two. Yeah, and another thing here to point out, <laughs> TP, he may not have caps here, Revan, but TP, his, his I guess, standing uh, you know, ovation I have to give him is just that defense that he has. I mean, Boy, I can't know. even hear you right now. Aches, he's so hyped up in the lobby. Oh, but goodness. as uh, we them, exit this one, them. we could get our final thoughts of that game. But congratulations to complexity. They eliminate what was looking like uh, the number one team in Call of Duty Ghost as it stands right now. So Complexity making a statement as they advance to round two. There you have it. And I, I want to see if these guys are talking on my end because it's always <laughs> I had to lead the lobby. They were so loud I could barely hear you. But it's I probably hear you just aches. Just aches? Probably just <laughs> aches. Um, well, yeah. So I just want to say that, uh, you know, a player there that I got to give credit to, standing ovation, has to go to TP as always. He is that anchor for the team, man. Again, TP, um, he played defense, right? He played that goalie role very nicely. He dropped back. He hung out by the goal. He was that guy that was hugging the goal, waiting to see if anyone was going to get aggressive. That was his role. And while his teammates were out there scoring points, he was the one making sure that no points were scored at home. Winning those gun battles, that was great there from TP. Complexity with W, like you said, Revan. They move on to the next round. So happy that Patrick was just consistently yelling in the microphone. But it is what it is. So there you have it. And Congrats someone's got to gotta play that defensive role, man. Uh, you absolutely need someone watching your portal at all times. Otherwise, it's just going to be an open invitation for the other team to just uh, have their way with your side of the map. But round one is over with. You saw Curse Las Vegas. They are already out. We're going to commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have a new matchup for you guys. But stay tuned for more action from the MLG Play 5K series presented by Games.